What's up guys, Zachary Strife here for Zach's Tech, and today we're checking out a new case. Let's see if it's any good. Ah. Alright, today we're looking at the P48-W, or B Gamer, by DIY PC. This is literally like one of the cheapest cases I've ever seen. This is a mid-tower case. And honestly, I think for the money, it's going to have a lot of features that most people are looking for. Uh, first of all, on the top front I.O., we got USB 2.0s, one USB 3.0, uh, microphone speaker or headphone, and then a reset switch. And on the front, we have power switch, and this is my favorite feature so far, a magnetic door. Oh, that's sweet. Um, at first glance, you will notice that the shades of white from the case and the front panel are slightly different. Most people probably won't notice this, but if you do and it bothers you, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, for like $28 or whatever this case ended up costing, uh, it's not a bad deal. So, all right. Let's go ahead and open up the side panels. I like the simple design of it. Um, I'm not super into window panels, some people are, some people aren't, but I am perfectly fine with this setup. So we're going to open it up here, and nice. I'm actually really happy with the, the coloring inside, it's actually really, wow, it's really well done. All of the edges are rounded, no sharp edges. I'm really liking the, the quality of this case, actually. Uh, you got all your front panel wires right there for fun. You have a bag of hardware for mounting your motherboard and your drives. Uh, this case features a front fan. It's a blue LED 120mm. And then a rear exhaust fan. Uh, it's just a 120mm, it doesn't have LEDs. Uh, it features two five and a quarter bays, three uh, three and a half inch hard drives, and then two two and a half inch solid state drives. The CPU clearance for the coolers, because I mean, if you're modding a PC or going, you know, an extra little bit for overclocking or whatever, the max height is 160 millimeters, which is going to fit quite a lot of CPU coolers actually. I believe that actually fits my my Fantex. It's a, it's a really big uh, air cooler. I'll, I'll throw a picture on there if I remember. And then uh, for GPU clearance on the length, we're looking at 375 millimeters. So it looks like it's going to fit underneath this right here, but it can fit most video cards. I believe the only ones that won't fit in this are the Galax edition cards. I don't remember which ones they are, but they're really long, like 400 millimeters plus. So, um, yeah, and then you got a side panel or a window for your motherboard. So if you're going to remove the uh, mounting hardware to install an air cooler or, or any other custom cooling, it looks like you have the ab ability to do that. Uh, it does have a top mounted power supply, which some people don't like. I personally like the bottom mounts myself, but that's not a big deal. Uh, it looks like a pretty simple case, but for the money it looks like it has pretty much all the features we're looking for. I'm kind of trying to figure out this hard drive situation because it says hard drive solid state, solid state hard drive solid state, which is not <laughs> what the description says. So that's a little strange. And it looks like there's three five and a quarters, but only two of them are usable. If you look at the front panel here, you only see that there's two bays, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. There's some sort of tray on the third one, so I'm not sure what that's for exactly. But uh, we'll go ahead and build in the case real quick so I can give you an honest opinion of what I think about this thing, and we will be back shortly.
All right, guys, I finally built in the case and I can give you a little bit better of an opinion uh, of what I think here. Uh, so I put in my old AMD system. It's an AMD 6000 plus F on 64 X2. Yes, we're going old school. Um, the case is, is pretty tight. Like a lot of the wiring is pretty tight. Like the front panel, you can run it, but you can only have like maybe one five and a quarter bay because if you have another one, that's not going to make the corner. So you're only going to use one of your one of your five and a quarters, which is kind of a downer, unless you can figure out how to wire this a little bit differently. But uh, so I still like the case, but there's a little bit of a confusion here. The hard drive situation is a little strange. If you side mount the solid state drives, I have a Kingston in there right now as an example. You can cat. I have a Kingston in there right now as an example. Um, you can put in one, two, three if you side mount them, which is strange. And then the three and a half inch, I was only able to fit mine right here in the very bottom bay. Um, if you put it in the top part, it actually runs into the front fan. So uh, you can use these rear screws, but if you have some sort of clearance issue back here, then that's not going to work out for you and you'll have to use the bottom slot. But honestly, it's not too bad. Most people do one solid state drive and then one regular hard drive. So like a, a 500 gig solid state and a one terabyte. And this is just a budget system case anyway. So honestly, <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, it's, it's giving you a lot more bang for your buck, I believe. So final thoughts. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a pain to work in. I chose like one of the worst layouts that I have in my in my collection of computers so it was pretty much worst case scenario um, again you can't put a radiator in this unless you're doing like an H80 in the rear which is kind of a bummer but if you really really wanted to since it's such a cheap case you could mod it and actually probably fit a radiator up here if you really want to try but yeah um, for $28 or whatever it is um, it's not bad so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to find this case and then, uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a like, don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to support me directly, you can hit the Patreon link down below and throw a dollar my way each month. Thank you guys for watching, and this is Zachary's Drive. See ya.